So here's the finished incubator. Thought I'd give you a quick rundown um, in case the, the pictures probably didn't give all the details. Um, but basically what I've got here is um, over on uh, this far corner, in the top corner I've got a little uh, 12 volt computer fan that blows over a light, uh, which is one of those, it's a 100 watt um, night light for like reptiles. And then right next to it I have the water heater thermostat out on a little peg facing it, which might seem weird. But the purpose for that is that uh, water heater thermostats, they're built to be on, to, on the side of a water heater. So they're not very sensitive unless they have really good contact with the heat source. Uh, and if you just put it on the wall, it's probably not going to work out too well. I had it on the wall initially and it would swing the temperature by 15 degrees. You know, it wouldn't kick on until it had dropped 15 to 20 degrees. So whereas if you put it right next to the light, the light bulb will heat it up extremely quickly. Um, and then when it when it shuts off, the fan will cool it down extremely quickly, which really narrows um, your your range of temperature down near the eggs, which is what I did. Now this little thermometer is a lot more sensitive than the big LED screen you see in there. And basically what I did is I moved the thermostat as close as I could, um, uh, or, or closer and closer until I got it within a range I liked. It would vary between 98.7 uh, and 103 degrees. So it would kick on at 98.7 uh, and kick off at 103 or so. Um, and then uh, this other thermometer takes a little longer to change so it kind of hovers around 99.5 to 100.5 which is perfect for chicken eggs. I'll go ahead and uh, take off the lid here so you can see a little bit what it looks like internally. Um, I used a lot of this one inch foam to line the top and the inside and then I use the pane of Lexan on the inside and a pane of Lexan on the outside so it's like a dual pane window. Um, there's some ventilation holes cut up in this corner, about six of them. And there you can see the fan, light, and thermostat combo. Right here this is a little uh, telescope motor that's a tenth of an RPM so what I do is I have a timer over here on the floor that it's plugged into and it'll turn it on for five minutes once an hour. And when five minutes will take it from one, the, move the tray from one side to the other. So it basically goes over there, sits for an hour, goes back, sits for an hour, and does that all day. And it moves very, very slow. It takes that full five minutes just to turn it and, and move the tray over there so it doesn't jostle the eggs. Um, underneath the grate here, I've got, um, I can put up to four of these little trays, and I've got one of them filled up with water and at the beginning when I had the lid on it was about 54 percent humidity which is just right for the first 18 days 50 to 60 percent uh, so and then later on you wanted to raise it up to about it's about 70 or 80 percent for the last three days and you can just fill up more trays to do that uh, but yeah that's the basic idea as far as wiring I just took one uh, extension cord and wired it directly to the motor that way I can unplug the motor um, or or have it on the timer and the, the thermostat won't toggle it off. Um, and then on a separate uh, wire I go one line to the thermostat, the other line from the thermostat to the light, and then from the other terminal light back into the plug. Um, and then of course the DC, uh, 12 volt DC fan is just hooked up to a 12 volt DC adapter over there. Um, you know, one positive and negative, nice and easy. And that's all there is to it. It's a pretty simple setup. And um, having this really overkill 100 watt light helps it to heat up quick and cool down quick. So if you have um, uh, a room temperature that's going to vary a bit, um, like a 20 degree shift or 15 or 20 degree shift, um, it won't affect the internal um, incubator temperature much at all, which is nice. That's what my classroom is like, so I wanted to make sure it would handle that okay. Uh, feel free to give me any questions or shoot me any questions you have and I'd also love to hear if anybody else has tried different things that have worked well uh, to keep improving on a design. Uh, this should cost about fifty to sixty dollars if you don't include uh, this thermometer and the timer. If you just buy the thermometer humid or humidity gauge combo I got on Amazon it was like eight bucks after shipping um, and all the other parts and pieces I'll try to put a list at the end there so you can see the prices but yeah 50 60 bucks um, to get even a, a styrofoam version of this that um, by like hova bader with with the egg turner in it and everything and a fan you're going to be at 120 plus dollars and it probably won't be nearly as stable as this since this is um, insulated even better 
Uh, so anyway, good luck with your incubating. Let's uh, touch on something that I forgot to mention in the video. Uh, traditional egg turners usually have little cups for each individual egg to uh, sit in. They're really nice and handy. The only issue is um, three days before they hatch, you're supposed to take the egg turner out. And so with that design, you have to take the entire egg turner out and then individually put the eggs back in. Uh, it just, you know, takes a little extra time. And I thought might as well streamline it if, it if it's not too bad to do so. So with this design, all you have to do is get rid of this. Um, screw here. So I just loosen that up. And um, then you can just tilt this whole unit and drag the eggs forward slowly. And pretty soon it'll clear the eggs and you just pull the whole mechanism out. And then put the lid back on. It takes about 20-30 seconds and you're done. So. A little bit simpler process that way, and now the um, chicks can walk around freely as well. Um, it's not too tough that way. It also makes cleaning out the grate or adding, uh, you know, taking out, adding more of the little uh, Tupperware things pretty easy too, because once you're here, it's pretty easy to just lift that up and put them in. So uh, that's the advantage to this style egg turner.